hello friends welcome back to the new tutorial of magento so today we are going to learn about how to log in with username or email in magento 2 so those who haven't subscribed my channel yet please do subscribe my channel if you like the video please hit like to it okay so let's get started so you can see that in the sign in account we have a username and the password right and in the create account we have the username also okay so let's see let's create our username uh, first one Rajni Khan um, email Rajni Khan 90 at the rate mailinator dot com okay King on idea of mailinator okay password we can take it the password like this this is the password and username Raj 90 right I'm going to create an account account is created i'm logged in right so you can see that i'm uh, let 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 us log in with raj 90 also i'm going to log out right now let's sign in with raj 90 the password this one sign in so you can see that i'm logged in okay you can see that and let's check with the email also sign in with email okay and the password sign in so you can see that i can log in with username and with the email also okay so how we are going to build such kind of thing in magenta 2 so let's get started how on, on the code level how I make this one okay so for this one let's log out this one and you can see that in the admin panel also or admin When I log in with the customers, where is customers? And we have all customers. Now the username is there. Okay, last I have selected this one. So you can see that here I'm going to edit part because uh, in the admin panel, we have also need the username. So the account information, username, right? I can change it whenever I want, okay? so let's build that extension okay so here we go with the code and this is first of all etc then we have a di.xml where we have the preferences dashboard info okay because you can see that in the dashboard uh, where it is let me go with this one okay sign in Raj 90 the password is same if I go and check this one my account you can see that account da dashboard so here we have added this one right and if I go to the edit part okay, you can see that username is also there okay so in the di.xml we have account dashboard info after that we have a model account management then we have a customer data magento customer customer data okay let me uh, word wrap this so you can see that we have account management type then we have a customer data type then we have a preference dashboard info okay so here we have rewrite the module block account dashboard info then we have account management okay where we replace by the ma account management part model and then we have a customer data okay so these three type plugins we are going to override in the di.xml then we have extension attribute that is username and module you know that and then we have a model you can see that we have a model username.php where we are checking unique username okay if it is unique then we will check before saving the object so this is a model where we are checking the part okay then we have a plugin customer data then customer so here you can see that after get se uh, section data you can uh, if i go if i go to the um, 
like vendor folder and i check that part you can see that after get this section data we will get it and here we were checking that by default username empty if the session if the customer is logged in here we have put the login logged in and customer session get customer id and now on the behalf of it we are checking the customer attribute username is there then we're getting the value and do the rest of the process okay we are getting the data with the help of the username and return the data also you can set that the get the customer by the id so this is the block of that then we have a model account management because all these files are we are in the overriding part in the da.xml so you can see that before is email available there is a function we have created and then before on the authentication then we get customer by username so here we are filtering the username by the attribute now we have a rei info.php and here we have get username get customer account manager so here we are getting the data by the help of the username then we have a setup install dot where we have creating the username schema okay it is using the forms admin checkout account and account edit so all these things are available then we have admin html where we have shown into the customer listing okay and then we have a front end then we have a customer create account in the customer create account we have already added in the additional info i have shown to you customer account edit part we have already there okay you can see that in the customer edit part is also there and uh, where we go with it and we have a index we are using username login then account login you uh, when we create a login screen over here uh, let's check it out here you can see that we have added the username login screen okay and then we have a template files account info.phtml where we get the username only and the form we have a login.phtml file and we have a username.file okay where we have added the username then we have additional info field username required and this is a registration.php so these are the files which we uh, which all are interacting with each other and get the data and logged in with the email and the username okay so any query any doubt any issue in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day